Hey guys, Eftow here, and today I'm back with another Minecraft tutorial. Today's tutorial is all about how to stop people from breaking blocks on your single player world in the vanilla Minecraft. So if you're making an adventure map, or some kind of parkour that people can download and play, you don't want them breaking blocks, because then they can obviously cheat the game. And it's a very simple command you can use to stop breaking blocks. This is what you want. You want the slash effect of mining fatigue, which is the four, and at all. That means everyone is affected by it. Then you want at least 1 million seconds to make this infinite and level 5. Any lower than level 5 and people can still break blocks. Any higher than level 5 and it affects your movement a bit too much and can hinder the gameplay. So I generally suggest level 5. Just flick that there. See my fist is considerably slower. But if I spawn in a mob I can still fight them fairly fast. doesn't really affect the gameplay at all at this level which is why I highly suggest that. That will be in the description. With the million seconds, this is now infinite. So that won't run out. Even when the million seconds runs out, I don't think it actually goes. It just Minecraft classes anything higher than this or at this level as to last forever. But obviously you want this to happen to people instantly as they join the game. So that people can't quickly break a block or break this so that they can then go on to cheat the game. So what you want to do to prevent it is to set up, set up something like this. And this is the same command as we got in here, but there's obviously a pressure plate above it. What you want to do when you make your map, or just as you start making the map, you go quite low. There we go, that's perfect right there. And you want to do slash set world spawn so that when people spawn the game they instantly fall and get the mining fatigue that way nobody can cheat the game by breaking this because you get like half a second if that before you hit it and at that point now if I'm in the game mode 0 I now can't break anything here, I can't break the command block though I could get on the command block which I'm going to go on to in a second with more discreet but as you can see from this demo I literally can't break anything not even items or, well not items, but you know what I mean, like, things like flowers, things that you could normally break in like half a second. Because you leaves over here, literally can't break anything. But obviously they can actually get on this command block, which is why you want to make it a bit more discreet and build something like this. And using that with this, I can also make it so it changes me into survival. And the way I've done this, if I just switch back to the game mode 1, whoops, wrong game mode. What this is here, I've got the the pressure plate just above the redstone. The second that gets stepped on, if I can, I wonder if I can chuck something on it from here. How does that not work? Okay. But yeah, it lights up the redstone, and then it affects both this one, which is the effect, and this one, which is obviously the game mode zero. If you want to make this even better, you can turn off the um, command block input or output game rule command if you just put command like I just put C and put tab you'll get it come up and then you put false that way when I jump on this now I still update my game mode but it doesn't tell me of the mining fatigue but it does still appear so hopefully that will help you out in protecting your single player world hope you found this video informative or in any way helpful and if you have then please do take a second to the like button below and thanks for watching